I built here an 8-bit rhythmic logic unit, ALU for short, and it's composed of two 4-bit ALUs, specifically the Sony 4 LS181 ALU. Uh, one is from Texas Instrument, other is probably from Fairchild. And I connected the carry out from this ALU to the carry in of the other one, so that makes eight bits connected. These are my nine LEDs. They are connected to the outputs of the ALUs. This is the carry out indicator. It's a green light. The rest of these are red. This is my inverter. I have to invert the carry out because um, the one. Well, the thing about these LUs is they're, they can be used as active low or active high and I chose active high but when I do that the carry out is uh, inverted so I invert it back to get the right one. This switch is for the mode. The one, the switch on the right most is the carry in option. It's active low. This is M. M is zero, so it, yeah, wait, the M is active high, so when M is zero, it does arithmetic functions. When M is high, it does logic functions. This is my selection switch. There's 16 operations total for logic and arithmetic. These are my two inputs. That's A, and that's B. And that's my uh, five volt power regular as usual. Yeah, it's a bit messy. This whole thing. I'll use a lot of wires. And I'll do some demonstration of arithmetic. Right now, the selection is at nine, and it performs A plus B. So let's check that out. Right now, it's set up to A and B are both equal to three. I guess I'll just change the A to 7. So I get 7 plus 3, I should get 10. So I should expect this and this LED to light up. And yep, that's 10, alright. Yeah, the reason why I don't leave it connected is because these LEDs drain a lot of current and this 7805 gets extremely hot if I just leave it on like that. Now let's do uh, 6 plus 3 should get 9001. Yeah, yep, it's right. And there you go. If you're looking to rebuild the same experiment, you can easily buy these arithmetic logic units at futurelect.com. Future with an E. And when I bought it, I had to wait 11 days though, because it's shipped from Thailand. But then that's a very good place to buy these integrated circuits. They sell them for a lot, and they're pretty cheap as well. Shipping is four bucks.